Hi, I'm Marvin Roy Labasa, third year medical student from the University of Cebu School of Medicine. And today I will be demonstrating how to do your cervical assessment examination. Take note that if you are a male, you should have a female companion in the examination room with you, preferably a member of the medical staff. Cervical assessment involves insertion of your two fingers into the vagina of the patient. This is to assess the cervical dilation, cervical effacement, state of the membrane whether it is intact or ruptured, to determine the fetal presenting part, the fetal position, and the fetal station, as well as to determine the cervical position and consistency. Thoroughly explain the procedure to the patient. Before starting, ask the patient to empty her bladder. Place the patient in a dorsal lithotomy position with her buttocks at the edge of the examination table. Make sure to demonstrate a sepsis during the whole procedure. Put on examination gloves and apply lubricant. Extend the index and middle fingers and flex the ring and little fingers. Thumb should be pointing up. Separate the labia with your other hand. The labia can also be separated using the ring and little fingers of the examining hand. Insert the index and middle fingers of the examining hand carefully into the vagina. Determine the cervical dilatation. Cervical dilatation is determined by estimating the average diameter of the cervical opening by sweeping the examining fingers from the margin of the cervical opening on one side to that on the opposite side. The diameter traversed is estimated in centimeters. The cervix is said to be dilated fully when the diameter measures 10 centimeters. Now determine the cervical effacement. The degree of cervical effacement is usually expressed in terms of the length of the cervical canal compared with that of an uneffaced cervix. When the length of the cervix is reduced by one half, it is 50% effaced. When the cervix becomes as thin as the adjacent lower uterine segment, it is completely or 100% effaced. The position of the cervix is determined by the relation of the cervical os to the fetal head and is categorized as posterior, mid position, or anterior. Determine the consistency of the cervix as soft, firm, or intermediate between the two. Determine the state of the membranes whether intact or ruptured. Determine the fetal presenting part, fetal position, and fetal station. The presenting part is palpated and differentiation whether it is vertex, face, or breech is accomplished. If the vertex is presenting, the fingers are directed posteriorly and then swept forward over the fetal head towards the symphysis pubis. The linear course of the sagittal suture is delineated. The position of the two fontanelles are ascertained. The fingers are passed to the most anterior extension of the sagittal suture, and the fontanelle examined is identified. Then, with a sweeping motion, the fingers are passed along the suture to the other end of the head until the other fontanelle is felt and differentiated. Identify the triangular-shaped posterior fontanelle and the diamond-shaped anterior fontanelle. The station or extent to which the presenting part has descended into the pelvis can also be established. Determine the location of the lowermost portion of the fetal head in relation to the ischial spines. Document and explain the findings to the patient and inform her what to expect after the procedure. Ask the patient for any questions or clarifications.